You want to hear my story? I'll tell you my story. It all started long before I was born when my race first swam in the big black sea beyond the white islands and we thought we were the only ones in the universe. Then came the news that there was other life in our solar system and our world erupted into chaos. Some thought that with our perceived transcendence we should try to give these new creatures the same technology we had. Others thought that because they were not the omnipresent race that we were that they would give in to their primal desires. Ergo, they must be destroyed to preserve the sanctity and safety of our race. The debate raged on for photons upon photons until a compromise was reached. We would not destroy the new races, but neither would we let them join us in the vast black sea. So every time a manned or unmanned spacecraft was shot up into the stars, it was coming back down in pieces. This continued for a vast amount of time, and in this, a new golden age commenced. One wish I wish I could have seen. Well, one of the races finally figured out a way to get past our blockade, and with little satellites that would land on our planet from time to time, and we never thought much of it. Then we started to see that these satellites were making our planet sick, insomuch that our waters dried up and many of our people suffocated to death. We went from a proud, prosperous race of 40 million to just a couple of thousand, hundred thousands, almost overnight. After this, my people were committed to vengeance. Wanting retribution for the fallen brother and set about building their own massive fleet that would rival them stars themselves. This is when I was born. My sole purpose in this life was dedicated to the enacting of vengeance and getting retribution for the other races for destroying our precious homeland. However, I believe that we were, we were the unjust, ignorant, and tyrannical race that set about being the bullies and their attack on us was completely justified. So on the day, I decided that instead of going to go and fight, I would actually go and help the other races out to try to save them for their inevitable fate and maybe create something else with that. Well, fate would have it that on that day, not only was I branded a traitor, but a meteor mysteriously crash landed onto my planet and destroyed the rest of my race, killing my friends, my family, and anyone else I loved. I didn't have much time to mourn though, because as soon as I left my planet, I instantly crash landed onto the other way. They did not know my strength, and so I was instantly spared from having real torture done to me, but it was still a terrible experience. Then finally, I waited. I waited until they discovered space travel, and once they sent their first rocket into the moon, or into the stars, I instantly commandeered it. And with that, a story begins, people. A story where we will be focusing in on the aspects of good and the fellowship of the world. Because we will not have a tyrannical race rule everyone else. No, we will have a peaceful communion between all races, of all peoples and all types. This is the Last Federation.